Complacent in their metal towers, the New Order's ignorance allowed Amida to play God. Covertly blurring the boundaries of life, he broke Clause 21 of the Geneva Code. And slowly but surely, machines contaminated our society. Manipulating from within, they grew in power and numbers undetected until the attack on Bergen by the Hollow Child. How long have they deceived us? Hidden amongst us. Suddenly, humankind found itself at the very edge of extinction. There's some uh, robots gunning for me here at the Sega booth at E3, and uh, I've just taken a look at Binary Domain, and I'm here with Amy, who can tell us a little bit more about this new game from Sega. Absolutely. So Binary Domain is being developed by uh, Nagoshi Sans team over in Japan. They're famous for the Yakuza series, Super Monkey Ball series, um, and they're very, uh, they're very well renowned for creating really cinematic experiences. So Binary Domain is a squad-based third-person shooter set in a 2080 Tokyo with a difference. So there are two levels to the city. You've got the lower city, the slums, and you've got the upper city, which you can see on the booth here. Um, and you've been sent as part of an international peacekeeping squad called the Rust Crew to try and bring the robotic community back under control. Um, you <laughs> so you're working as you start each mission. You need to select which players you're going to take with you and they'll trust you more or less depending on how you progress through the mission, how well you do at your uh, objectives and also how you talk to them in a non combat situation. Uh, the other good thing about uh, the fact that you're fighting against robots is you've got a lot of different ways in which to defeat them. There's procedural damage in there to a very high level so you can take out their legs and they'll crawl along the floor and they'll reload on the floor and keep attacking you. Take out their heads and they'll start attacking each other and it just adds another layer of strategy to the game which is great. Oh. There are a lot of uh, third-person squad-based shooters out there on the market today, but I think there's a distinct sort of Japanese touch to this, something a little bit different than you'd expect from a, a Western third-person shooter. Uh, you mentioned briefly how the characters interact and that sort of thing, but also uh, there's, there's also a lot of other things, especially the visual style is, is very different than what you would see in a Western game. What do you think that this offers to the genre as a whole? Well, I think the fact that there aren't actually that many robot third-person shooters out there, the, like I've just said about the procedural damage, it really does add a, layer, a significant layer of strategy. Each enemy can be defeated in a different way, and there's a huge variety of robots there to, to be defeated. Um, so you can, you can just blow them up with rocket launchers, with grenades. You can be a little bit more strategic with your sniper rifle. There's lots of different ways to, to go about it, and I think a lot of the other third-person shooters out there aren't, obviously aren't against robots, and that, that really does stand against it. It completely changes the gameplay mechanic. And in addition, there's, there's other gameplay variety. You've got grapple hook situations. You need to find clever ways to use the environment around you in order to defeat them. For example, one of the levels that we've got on the booth today, the Grand Lancer, you need to think a little bit more cleverly, look around and see what you can use in order to defeat it. You briefly mentioned some of the different playstyles you could use. There are uh, a number of different characters. Could you touch on, on any of them? Yeah. So you've got, um, there are four different characters that you choose from for each mission. Um, each has different characteristics. Faye is all about the sniper rifle. Bo is just about the brawn. Um, Charlie's a little bit more strategic. And Rachel will be revealed in a little bit more detail later in the campaign. You mentioned that there are also, there's also going to be multiplayer in the game. Uh, we're not talking about multiplayer at this stage in the campaign. Like I say, we've got until February next year. So there'll be a lot more to be revealed later on. I think they revealed some stuff upstairs that you're not talking about here. <laughs> it's behind closed doors special for you. <laughs> All right. So um, in terms of, uh, of uh, just how you play the game and uh, 
it's a it's a cover based shooter but it seems like there's not you know you don't sit behind cover that much which is you know something that perhaps you do in, in other games of this genre well I, I think it very much depends on your play style you can sit behind cover and you can work from cover to cover or you can you can just go sort of all out it really depends on your play style when i play it i like to be behind the cover but you've got to bear in mind that it is a little bit destructible so you need to pick and choose which bits to hide behind. Could you touch a little on the on the voice command and how that works? So, as I mentioned, there's a trust mechanic in the game, um, and that's how you interact with your squad. Um, so there's voice command in there. You uh, can interact with your squad. You can have conversations with them. You can regroup them. You can ask them to charge, and there are certain levels of commands that you can do. And the, and the way you speak to them, the way you interact with them, the way you sort of manage them and control them, that really does impact on the trust mechanic that I uh, keep talking about. And in turn, that will sort of uh, influence how they will help you on the battlefield as well, and not just end the story. Absolutely. So, for example, if you've run out of medipacks and you need some help, you can call them over and they'll come and help you if they trust you and if they want to work with you. If you're doing well. And if you're doing well, absolutely. All right, thank you very much for your time. No worries, thank, thank you. you. Together, we fought for our survival. But where did the machine end and humanity begin?